What's up, party people? This is Jason White, your credit guy, CEO and founder of Witness Riches. We are a credit repair and financial coaching company. We specialize in helping people boost their credit scores and massively improve their finances. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a three-part series, how to deal with debt collector scum and get collection accounts removed off of your credit report. I'm going to be sharing this information every Friday, so today is the first part to this series next Friday and then the following you'll be getting more information on my timeline but basically I'm going to share with you today on how to deal with debt collectors when they either call you or send you a letter uh, making an empty threat basically threatening to garnish your wages take you to court or just take further action to collect on a debt that you have no knowledge of so without further ado let's dive into it and make sure you take good notes so you can use this information in your life and get results, okay? So let's dive into it. So here's the situation. Debt collectors are calling and sending you letters threatening to garnish your wages, take you to court, or take further actions to collect on debts that you have no knowledge of if you refuse to make payment arrangements. Many people usually panic because they don't know how to respond to these fools. In this video, I'm going to share with you a response that keeps you in the driver's seat and puts them in their place. If you're able to do exactly what I share with you, two things will happen. One, you'll have complete control over the conversation. Two, you'll be on the offensive and they'll have no choice but to defend their claims. And let me give you a little bit of insight. There's a high chance they won't be able to prove anything. And if they can't prove it, they must remove it from your credit reports. So let's dive into it. How to deal with debt collector scum and when. I think it's best to start with the life cycle of how this debt buying game starts. In this scenario, we're going to use you, Craig, Day Day, and Money Borrow. Let's say you borrow money from your homeboy Craig. Craig is the creditor of this debt, aka the original creditor. And let's say some time has gone by and you think you might still owe Craig, though you're not sure how much. One day, a guy named Day Day calls you and says, he is collecting the money you owe Craig. And for those of you who aren't catching what's going on right now, Craig and Day Day are from the movie Friday. Anyway, Day Day is acting just like a debt collector. Think about it. Having never met Day Day before, would you just hand over the cash to him? No. Or at least I hope you wouldn't. You should have these questions for Day Day before you hand over a dime. One, how do you know that Day Day is actually collecting for Craig? What legal documents does Day Day have to prove that he is legally authorized to collect? Two, how much is the actual debt? What payments have already been made on the account? Where is the accounting of the debt, including all interest and fees? And are these fees and interest amounts legit? Three, do you still really owe Craig the money? See, you remember borrowing money from someone else, your friend Smokey, at the same time. You also remember paying one of them back the next day. Is this debt the one you borrowed from Smokey or Craig? Where is the contract showing the terms of the loan with Craig and the one from Smokey? At the very minimum, you should call Craig or Smokey on the phone to ask about the loan. You see, these are questions you should have in the back of your mind when a debt collector calls you to collect on a bill that you have no knowledge of. My question to you is, are you thinking of these questions? Or are you giving in to someone you have no knowledge about? So you received a phone call or a letter from a collection agency. Your first reaction may be to panic. What you need to do is calm yourself down and analyze the situation. Think of what you would ask Day Day in our previous example. If you do, you'll know exactly what to ask a collection agency to validate a debt. Keep in mind that many of times debt collectors pay pennies on the dollar for debts that original creditors sold. When they buy these debts, oftentimes they don't obtain the full right or even the, the full disclosure or documents to collect on your debts. So what does a debt collector need to provide as debt validation? Proof that the collection agency owns the debt or has been assigned to the debt. This is a basic contract law. It is very difficult to get a judgment without a direct contract between collection agency and the original creditor. Keep that in mind. You'll also want a copy of a statement from the original creditor. If you really want to get sticky, you can pin them down to the amount of the debt by requiring complete payment history, 
starting, starting with the original creditor. And you'll also want a copy of the original signed loan agreement or credit card application. Basically, they need to prove that this account is actually yours, okay, or was yours. And then lastly, if possible, you want a copy of a canceled check from you to the original creditor. This is the kind of information you want to request from a debt collector as debt validation. Without this information, you don't have to pay a dime. And better than that, they must remove it from your credit report. That's that. Hopefully you took good notes. But just in case you didn't, I'm going to do you a favor. I wrote an ebook with this information and more on the debt buying industry and how to take control and get collections removed off your credit report. All you have to do is click the link associated to this video, download the book, read it, and apply it to your life. And I can almost guarantee you'll get good results. Okay. Watch out for our part two video series uh, next week, and you'll get more information on this uh, particular situation. Um, this is Jason White, your credit guy. I'm out. Peace.